Well, I was contacted by uh, Joe and Camp um, about six months ago, and they said that they were out scanning the neighborhood for a site that would be appropriate for a large garden um, project with the YCAP kids, and they felt like our backyard at the Main Street group homes would be ideal. And so would we be interested in partnering with them with this project? And I thought it was a wonderful idea, but this property is a HUD property, so we had to get clearance from the Knoxville field office. Then um, I got back with them, and they drew out these elaborate plans for this garden. And I was a little bit skeptical at first, but camp has, and the guys have brought it to fruition, and it's been wonderful. We started this project back in, uh, back in April. Uh -huh. And when we started, it looked just like this. It was just a backyard uh, of this house, but that's when we started this. And once again, the uh, the the whole idea was to uh, teach our kids how to grow a garden, how to grow vegetables. Yeah. And then once we harvest the vegetables, we give them to the to the group home where these intellectually handicapped adults live. So the 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 service is to give back what they're growing. The learning part of the service learning project is, is we're, we're learning how to grow vegetables. Ruth Toon, who is the residential director for Orange Grove, she's a big gardener and I was going to do this across the street and I just come up here one day and I saw this and said, you know, I wonder if they would like for us to do it in their backyard. So I talked to her and she said, absolutely. We go in inside the group home, we load their clients up in their wheelchairs, we bring them out, they sit around, you know, it's theirs. And so again, our our kids, our YCAP kids have just fallen in love with the with the residents that live here. And then them have they fallen in love with our kids too. Got all kinds of peppers, bell peppers, uh, squash, several species of, of tomatoes. We did these raised beds because we want we want to be able to load those patients up that live here in the wheelchairs. We'll bring them out next spring. We'll have strawberries and some other stuff in here, so they'll get to kind of dig around in the in the beds and feel a sense of worth as as well. But you know, the kids dug the duck pond and the water circulates constantly and this water is real high in nitrogen and we use that to water the plants because it's fertilized yeah. but but they provide a, a valuable service because of course you know they their waste is in the pond and then we use the pond to fer that water for fertilizer but the kids did all this what's in here guys strong um tadpoles like tadpoles frogs what are you doing with that? You were raising them for the ducks to, uh, what they do? They, like... Are they in there? It's probably for the pond. Hey, Brian. Yeah, I think it's for the pond. Okay. It's crazy. Get out of here. What do you do? Hey, uh, James. Come right here. Well, I don't know how to sell when I got the right I got like 50 of them. Oh, these good 200 of them. Me and Miss Roberta are eating our ice cream. What kind? I did those. It was good ice cream. Miss Roberta, Miss Roberta's eating. I ain't no free day. And I'm eating vanilla. What do you think? She, she, she really enjoys it. How about you? I like it. 